Hello Commanders, Commander Exegius again. Today we're going to look at one of the best ways to make money as a new commander, the Road to Riches. The Road to Riches refers to a tool that will let you plot a route to systems with high value planets. Using this tool, we can quickly and easily find high metal content, water, and earth-like worlds that are all worth more than 300,000 credits each. By traveling the road to riches, we can make up to 5 million credits per hour, putting you well on the way to the ships of your dreams. First, let's look at outfitting a Sidewinder for this. While you can use any ship in the game, with the higher the jump range the better, I'm going to be using a Sidewinder as this is the starter ship. We're also going to be outfitting with the bare essentials to keep the cost down and the ship light, as the frame shift drive, advanced discovery scanner, detailed surface scanner, and fuel scoop that we'll need all cost right around 2 million, the bulk of the cost for this build. Let's start by stripping off the two gimbaled pulse lasers. While these are free, due to their weight, they'll cost us two light years of jump range. Next, I suggest installing a single heatsink. While this is optional, it can be very nice to have if you make a mistake and get too close while scooping a star. Now, let's look at our optional internals. You'll want a 2A fuel scoop, a 2D shield generator, a 1C advanced discovery scanner, and finally, a 1C detailed surface scanner. Finally, let's outfit our core internals for maximum jump range. Install a 2D power plant, 2D thrusters, 2A frame shift drive, 1D life support, a 1D distributor, and finally 1D sensors. Depending on your credit balance, you could choose to install A-rated thrusters and distributor, but remember, as those are heavier, they will cost you just over a light year of range. Don't worry if you didn't follow along, there's a link to the build in the description. Now that our ship is ready, let's open the Road to Riches tool, link in the description below. Let's look how the tool works. Source system is self-explanatory. That's your current location. Destination system can be left blank if you want a circular route returning you to your source system once complete. This can be a great feature when you're headed between two systems and you want to do some scanning along the way. Range is the jump range of your ship, in our case 20. Radius is how wide the path will be based on your destination. The wider you set the radius, the more systems you'll have to scan, but the more jumps will be necessary. Here I suggest 100 light years. Maximum bodies is similar in that it will limit your trip to that number. This can be very useful when you're looking to make a set amount of credits in one session. Pro tip. It takes over 6 million credits to ally yourself with the primary faction at a station. If you ever need to be allied, you can use the Road to Riches to earn that 6 million, then sell it at the station in question, putting you to allied status immediately. Maximum distance to arrival is rather important, as this will filter out planets that are extremely far from the system's main star. As we spend far more time in supercruise than jumping, it's a good idea to limit this. I'd suggest something around 4,000 light seconds. Finally, for minimum scan value, I'd recommend the default of 300,000 to ensure we're scanning high value planets only. Now click calculate and our route will be generated. Clicking show route will give you a visual representation of the route, which is pretty cool. When you're ready to set out, simply click the small copy icon next to the system name, open the galaxy map, go to the second tab, paste in the system name, and click to plot. Pro tip, make sure on the fourth tab you have the filter set to star class with only the first seven selected, K, G, B, F, O, A, M. These are the star classes that are scoopable. Then at the bottom, select Apply Filter to Route. This way, when you plot a route, the tool will route you through scoopable stars whenever possible, hopefully saving you a call to the fuel rats. Now that you're underway, when you drop in system, the first thing you'll want to do is fire, or honk, your advanced discovery scanner to populate the system map. Then, looking at the Road to Riches tool, find the name of the body to scan, in this case Body 5. You'll then select the planet on the system map based on that name. If the name starts with a letter, that will determine the star, if the system has more than one. The first number will be the body around that, followed by a letter indicating which moon, if applicable. There could then be additional numbers and letters corresponding to further moons of moons. 
For the system on screen, the moon orbiting the Earth-like orbiting the second star would be named B1A. Once the body is selected, close the system map and using your navigation reticle, head toward the body selected. As you approach, you'll see the scan beginning in the bottom left-hand panel. The scan distance will vary based on your speed approaching the body. Pro tip! Whenever navigating to an object, when you see 7 seconds remaining, as in time to destination, not distance, set your throttle to 75%. You can map a hotkey to this in settings, making this far easier. By setting your throttle to 75% at 7 seconds, your ship will decelerate perfectly, meaning no more loops of shame. When your scan is complete, you'll see the body name and type in the bottom left panel. Once you confirm you've scanned the correct body, switch back to the Road to Riches tool and click the checkbox next to the system you've just scanned. That way your browser will keep track as you can only scan a planet once. Finally, copy your next destination and continue on your journey. Once you've finished your scanning and have arrived at the station where you want to sell your data, open System Services, Universal Cartographics, and select Sell Page. If you have multiple pages of data, continue to sell until everything is cashed in. Remember to choose the station where you sell your data wisely, as 6 million or more will bring you to allied status with the primary faction all at once. Using the Road to Riches is a great way to make money early in the game and to gain allied status with factions in the future. Once you've built up a few dozen million, you can decide what you want to do next. Trading in a Type 7, combat in a Vulture, exploration in an Asp Explorer, or any number of different roles you can play. Special thanks goes to Gareth Harper at Spanch.co.uk for creating and maintaining the Road to Riches and other wonderful tools. Be sure to show him some love. I hope this has been helpful. This has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching.